Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing Ice Light, which is a portable air conditioning gadget. And this product, in my opinion, is best used outdoors. So let's go outdoors to make this review. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review sample provided by the company. In this video, I'll just present to you my findings so that you can decide whether this is worth the money. I was told that the pricing is going to be around US $199 to $219. This is one of several portable air conditioning devices that the company Brembo sells. So this is called the light version because the other versions which are more expensive have more features. Let me give you the bottom line up front. This is my first time using such a cooling device so I cannot tell you how good this is compared to other brands. Now as a so-called portable air conditioning gadget, this is quite effective as in even at the lower settings, I can feel cool air coming out from the fan exhaust and uh, matte textured metal contact plates here that are in contact with the neck they are not just cooling they are actually cold so after i power this on for five minutes the plates will cool down really quickly and condensation happens i'm not sure if you can see clearly those droplets were created by condensation thanks to the high humidity here in singapore and also the cold surface i do not have long hair so i can't say whether this device would pinch long hair or pull on long hair but from what i can see there are no gripping parts so even if you have long hair there should be no issues wearing this the weight of this is 480 grams and it sounds heavy but in real life it's not that heavy so right now it's resting on my shoulders and i can feel the weight but i would say i can definitely wear this for long periods of time without discomfort downsides i guess it would be great if this can be lighter but the weight really is not really an issue battery life of the device is three hours if you use it at maximum fan speed throughout or up to five hours if you use it on and off at other fan speeds this device can work through USB-C charging. One actual downside is fan noise. Even at the lowest fan setting, there is audible fan noise, even when outdoors where there is ambient noise. And when you set the fan to medium or high speed, the fan noise is, I would say, as loud as a gaming laptop. Anyway, when you're outdoors and it's really hot and you just want some cooling, at least for me, I'm not going to be bothered by the high speed fan noise. So that's the bottom line. And now let's take a look at the items included in the box. This is an eye catching red colored box. So in the box, there is this quick guide, safety manual, and the eyes light. My early release unit did not come with a cable and charger, but I was told by the company that they will be included. However, this space here does not look like it's going to fit a charger unless they include the charger beneath this plastic packaging. Let's take a closer look at the design. So I have been using this and wearing this for a few weeks now and I did not notice anyone staring at me. So if you think you are going to feel self-conscious when you wear this on your neck or shoulders, um, well, I'm going to tell you that no one is going to uh, stare at you. So this design actually looks pretty good. I can see all the curved edges, um, the curved design. Now this is quite comfortable to wear. There are two fan exhausts for the hot air, one here and one on the other side. And there are no, uh, I would say, uh, very obvious logo or branding. Uh, even the words here, they are silver against white. So this is not very uh, attention grabbing. And on the back here, um, this is the air intake. This is for air intake. And this is uh, rubberized. So this can fit, I would say, a good <laughs> A variety of necks depending on how thick your neck is uh, for me um, it's quite comfortable and as mentioned earlier there are no uh, gripping parts so even if you have long hair um, I don't think there is anything to grip onto your long hair 
These two holes are for the cool air exhaust. Those two holes would be useful if you are wearing a collared shirt, in which case the two holes will blow cool air into your shirt. However, if you're just wearing a t-shirt, then those two holes are not very useful because the air will just blow out. And this is the display. Uh, it looks quite big, but um, it actually doesn't display much information. It may look like the display is blinking, but that's actually due to my camera settings. This is actually quite a big glossy design for this bit of information. And I wish they had used percentage for the battery instead of the 4 bar battery indicator. Anyway, um, this uh, glossy design looks pretty slick with the matte textured uh, surface. That's the power button which is flushed to the top surface. So this will help you differentiate between the power button and the fan speed controls. Now there are a few modes and to switch between the modes you just press and hold the power button until you hear a beeping sound. So this is the fan mode, the F mode and press again. And this is the H mode, the hot mode. Yes, um, this can actually heat up if you need it to heat up. And the colors will change um, depending on which mode you are using. And this is the AI mode, which is said to detect the ambient temperature and will adjust the temperature accordingly. So this is white. A quick press of the plus minus button will adjust fan speed and a long press will adjust temperature. But not all cooling modes will let you adjust temperature manually. This guy's neck is quite thick, so let's try this on him. And yes, it can fit him as well. If you have hair like this, you will probably need to, you know, pull your hair back. This guy's neck is way thicker than mine, so if he can wear it, I guess most people can. The cool air will come out from here and here, and the cool air will blow towards your neck. So it's quite cooling. And here on the inner side, there are two metal plates which are matte textured so that you don't get the metal on skin or feel. And this is quite comfortable. And this is very easy to clean, so when you sweat, you just have to you know, use some antiseptic wipe to clean the interior. Even though the metal plate is quite big, this is the area that's the coldest. Now this uh, outer edges are cold as well, but this area is cold enough to form condensation droplets. I discovered by pure chance that you can wear this on your leg as well, and it's quite cooling. This gadget is not weatherproof or waterproof, so do not use it under the rain. And I have actually chased after a bus uh, with this, so I need to hold it down while running. There is actually an app for the device, and this app offers a few additional controls that are not available from the physical controls on the device. By the way, you do not need to create an account to use this app. So unfortunately, the battery indicator here is also not in percentage. So this is where you can adjust the temperature, you can adjust the wind speed, and you can adjust the different cooling modes, and then there is the silent mode. I'm not sure what hot pack is or cooling first is. Um, there's the low power mode. Um, I don't use all these features, I just use the cooling mode. So here you can see the ambient temperature right now is 33 degrees Celsius and it is quite hot even though I'm seated under the shade. So to adjust the temperature um, just press the minus button and this can go all the way down to 16 degrees Celsius. Silent mode is not silent, it's just less noisy. When it comes to cooling, the two modes to use are cooling mode and AI mode. So what are the differences? So if you use cooling and the physical controls on the device, pressing the buttons will adjust the fan speed and adjust the temperature accordingly. So at the maximum fan speed, the temperature will drop to 16 degrees. This is medium fan speed, 26 degrees Celsius, and the lowest fan speed, 30 degrees Celsius. If you want to adjust the temperature manually while maintaining the fan speed, you have to use the app like this. Now with AI mode, it usually will go to the lowest temperature, in this case 16 degrees Celsius, and the wind speed is locked here. 
I can use the buttons to increase the fan speed or decrease the fan speed but it will be locked here so if you want this fan to be slower and quieter you have to use the app and when you switch between different cooling modes the previous settings will be used so earlier on I set 28 degrees Celsius to cooling mode and now if I switch to cooling mode it's 28 the main reason why I agreed to review this product is because I wanted to see if I can use this while I'm out urban sketching I enjoy drawing and painting on location and it's always very hot and humid here in Singapore so if this product can actually cool me down then I would consider this to be quite effective the three cooling modes available are cool mode, fan mode and AI mode so cool mode will actually cool down the two metal plates here and provide you with cool air fan mode will not cool down the metal plates but will provide you with air and if you wear this for long periods of time this is going to get warm and the air that comes out from this with fan mode is going to be warm and there is AI mode which is said to be able to detect ambient temperature and adjust the temperature accordingly and give you uh, cool air and that also will cool down the two metal plates here the company claims that temperature can be reduced by 17 degrees celsius but I don't actually have any equipment to verify that claim having said that the cooling effect is quite obvious so how effective is the cooling well it is quite effective surprising to me because I was very skeptical when the company asked me to review a portable air conditioning gadget and when I power this on at the lowest setting uh, the lowest fan speed I can feel the metal plates becoming cold and I can feel cool air coming out and it's definitely cool air because right now it's very hot very humid very sunny and once I power this on I can feel cool air so there is a difference if I want this to be cooler I just increase the fan speed and now let's hear the fan noise so let me power this on and set this to the lowest fan speed it takes about two or three seconds for the fans to wrap up and now the fans are spinning at the lowest speed I can hear the fan noise and this is in an outdoor settings where it's quite quiet so I can hear the fan noise if you are in a noisy environment if there's traffic or if you're in a cafe with many people talking then uh, the fan noise is going to blend with the ambient noise next um, let's switch to medium settings medium fan speed so once this goes into the medium fan speed uh, it's going to sound like a gaming laptop and this is more noisy if there are people standing near you they may be able to hear the fan noise and now I'm going to switch to the highest fan speed by the way um, I can use this at the lowest settings and it still feels cool uh, medium setting will be quite comfortable and this is the highest fan speed and it is um, it is quite noisy but as mentioned earlier when you're outdoors and it's really hot and humid um, the fan noise really is the trade-off for the cooling effect all right to conclude I would say this product is quite effective it does provide cooling as to whether it's worth the money well you can decide Right, I hope this review is useful. I'm going to get some sketching done while it's still sunny and not raining. Um, see you guys in the next video. Bye. This is my completed sketch drawn with the Concepts app.